Faith Checkbook by Charles Haddon Spurgeon May the 11th Fear only God, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Hebrews 13.6 Because God will never leave nor forsake us, we may well be content with such things as we have. Since the Lord is ours, we cannot be left without a friend, a treasure, a, and a dwelling place. This assurance may make us feel quite independent of men. Under such high patronage, we do not feel tempted to cringe before our fellow men and ask of them permission to call our lives our own. But we may say we boldly say and defy contradiction. He who fears God has nothing else to fear. We should stand in such awe of the living Lord that all the threats that can be used by the proudest prosecutor should have no more effect upon us than the whistling of the wind. Man in these days cannot do so much against us as he could when the apostle wrote the verse at the head of this devotion. Racks and stakes are out of fashion. Giant pulp cannot burn the pilgrims now. If the followers of false teachers try cruel mockery and scorn, we do not wonder at it, for the men of this world cannot love the heavenly seed. What then? We must bear the world's scorn. It breaks no bones. God helping us, let us be bold. And when the world rages, let it rage, but let us not fear it. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me.